Hi everyone. Before I show you anything, I want you to know that you can download this software on our website, iGems.se, and you can try these things for yourself. So when you've done that, you can go to Cam and you can click on this gray icon and you will get into our 3D5X environment. The first thing I'm going to show you is a very popular model in watch yet cutting industry. It opens upside down, so I have to go to align and flip it around like this. And although it might look like a complex part, it's really not that complex for our 3D environment. We want to place toolpaths on all contours and we can use these settings for, for lead-ins and lead-outs. Just click OK and you'll see that this is already finished now. Just take down the, the wrap it a little bit and I can show you a simulation of it. That looks pretty good to me. So, the next thing I'm going to show you is our fixture. And we're going to open another sample for this. We're going to open the fixture model yes and it looks like this now you see that the model is actually beneath our table surface here so we have gonna so we're gonna have to lift it up a bit and we want to have a little bit of air between the table and our model for our fixture to fit so Go to cam and C height. Now we see that the bottom is minus 48. I'm gonna say that bottom is 60. And we see it's lifted. So now we can go to tools, fixture. And we have a bunch of settings for this, but I'm just gonna make this real simple. I'm just going to go ahead and say calculate on this. And you will see that it places these clamps at the edge of the part and also on the internal part. And if we click on export, this thing will be exported into our 2D environment and we can cut this from regular sheets and we can build up our own fixture. So now that's exported to our 2D environment. We can apply our tool paths to this part and we can then cut our fixture, place the part in our fixture and cut this whole thing. All from iGEMS. It's pretty sweet. The third thing I'm going to show you is a tube. So it's right here on the bottom of our samples. And it looks like this. So the first thing I'm going to do is define the axis in our tube. So go ahead here. And then this is our axis, like so. The next thing I have to do is to pick our surface so we can define our tool pass onto these edges, the red dotted lines here. So these, all of these, and can add our tool path. So this is a more manual way of adding our tool paths and this can be done on any part, of course. 
like so. So now we're connected the top and the bottom curve. And we're just gonna look at these settings here. So this looks okay, but this one is red. So I'm gonna use the rotation axis on this. And I'm also gonna use the minimize tilt. So I think we can close this, look at the, get this down a bit, the rapids, and maybe also that one. And I can simulate this. Let's look from, from here. So this first cut was not cut with the rotation axis. And now the second one is. So we see the difference. It doesn't move the head as much. And that's it. We have endless possibilities with this environment. I just scratched the surface a little bit, but if you want to try for yourself, download the software and just open our samples library, or if you have your own files, you can import them and uh, have a look.